Welcome to Spinelli Speaks. Hello again. It is Thursday. It is time for a rapid review. Today I'm going to be doing a rapid review of a book that I thought might be one of my favorites of the year. However, it wasn't. Today I am going to be doing a review of Truman Capote's Breakfast at Tiffany's. Let's start that timer. First of all, I freaking love the movie. I mean, you have Audrey Hepburn just acting her butt off, but this isn't a review of the movie. Let's talk about the book. It's about 110 pages. There are no chapter markings. And Holly Golightly is not a good person. Trigger warnings? This book is racist, homophobic, and there's definitely some sneaking suspicions of some kind of sexual molestation. Now, some would say that there are some redeeming qualities in Holly Golightly, but take responsibility. So what's the same in the book and the movie? Holly Golightly might be a prostitute. She goes to Sing Sing. There is some guy that lives in the apartment. And Tiffany's is mentioned a few times. I don't even think they go to Tiffany's. But there is a lot more stuff that happens in the story than in the movie. But to me, they felt completely separate. Oh yeah, there's the cat. This was not a love story. I'll give it three stars. So there you have it. Sometimes you can judge a book by its movie. This instance, I really liked the movie way more. Um, so I recommend reading it because it is a classic. You may want to know what actually made the movie, but I was really disappointed. So that's all I have for you today. Until next time, I hope you are reading something great, taking care and staying safe, and you know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye.